Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to my live stream VOD. So, uh, we're streaming live on Twitch right now, twitch.tv forward slash Potato McWhiskey. Come on over and check me out if you want to see me play the game live. Uh, I will have a stream schedule one day put at the end of these videos, so, uh, you know, we'll do that. We'll do that one day. Alrighty. So, uh, in terms of what I want to do in this city, I might want to purchase a tile and put a lumber mill right here. We'll do that next turn. Uh, in terms of you, you have three build charges, and this city is now fully built up. Look at this city. It's a thing of beauty. What, do, what else do I want to do? Uh, let's see. Have you tried the Faith Purchasing District yet? It's really powerful. Yes. 2014 Memories. Rap Battle. World War One Uncut. Uh, da, 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 7 million views. I haven't seen the... Well, so I can't tell you. In my defense, he's speaking hardcore dialect, although I may be not the best judge of that. I'm talking about the movie downfall. Wow. My crossbowman took damage from the blizzard. Wish Russia. Wish I was Russia. Uh, scouting. I was talking shit about Russia this entire game, and they're not even in it. God damn it, dude. Can you send me a link to the clip or something? It's, uh, I can't believe you haven't seen that clip. It was like one of the most spammed things in the universe. All right, let's repair this. No! What is this blizzard? Oh my god, it just completely wiped out my entire empire. That is the most horrific blizzard I have ever seen. It just wiped out my entire empire. Oh my god. Everything is pillaged, or just straight up destroyed. I have petitioned for aid. God, that is absolutely brutal. That is a level of brutality I've never seen. It even killed population. Oh my god, man. That is an absolutely horrific blizzard. It's dirt damaged 30 tiles and killed seven population. Oh my God. I actually don't know what to do. I don't even know what to say. That's horrendous. Holy shice. That's insane, dude. That blizzard just obliterated me. Absolutely, man. I might just end it here. And I don't mean the game. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to be done. Don't like sweep back down south. Yes, I want people to help me. All right, people voted yes. Give me your money. Hey, you. You want to, like, just give me money? So I can't just say, hey, give me money. It's got to be their own voluntary decision. Should have moved him up a tile. Fortify. Oh, that's absolutely... Potato, did you plank when you were younger? No, because I wasn't sad. Got him. We've got so much work to do now. God. God, I'm building builders. That's insane, man. I've never... I never thought it could happen like that. That bad. There's Nan Madal. Getting murdered by, uh, old... What's her face? Englandia. Holy crap, England's empire is huge. Speaking of culture victories, do we even have a chance? Yeah, we do, but it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be real tough. This is the best harbor I've ever seen. So I can't just ask them for money, has to be their own voluntary decisions. You know how humanitarian aid works? Hey! should be questioning me. 
Send me money, you losers. Oh my god. I need a builder in here now. Need to repair that market. Industrial zone got murdered and everything too. This isn't an island, it's a peninsula. It just has a bunch of city-states on it. Time to try to restore these farms, I guess. Oh right, I need to get my alliance back with France. Um, resident embassy, declare friendship, make a deal, uh, alliance, cultural alliance, give me gold, you'll give me a little bit of gold. Would you like to buy one of my luxuries? Perhaps he would like some silk. You don't have enough money to justify selling you that silk yet. You won't give me enough for silk. You already have silk. You'd give me 16 gold for silk. That's pretty decent. <clears throat> El Pedro! Give me 14 gold for silk. That's pretty decent. You'll give me 24 gold for silk. Hell yeah. You already have whales. We have foxes. You don't want foxes. All right, then. France, you don't have any money. Eleanor, you're rich as hell. You want my foxes? Pay me. You don't want to pay me. All right, whatever. Well, we're making plenty of gold per turn now. Mr. Canada and the AA can't just lull declare war on you right now. Still no emojis, cinnamon. Ah! Don't tell him. Potato, show us nudes. Potato McWiss McSweaty. Potato, are you going to be playing online today no they're sending thoughts and prayers can you settle by the freshly erupted volcano that is the plan <clears throat> we we do plan a settlement over here barbarian muskman that's fun to go against yes it is let's not go anywhere near that of all the places like the the the, the... oh yes yeah, send me your gifts please oh yes these are measly gifts, but I will take them. <clears throat> Give me your gifts of gold. Uh, watch the clip and see what people have a trouble understanding. Give me basic all his office traders and mocks and stuff. Silent it goes and says he can't lead Nikita. She goes to war with Lost City. He's ready to shoot himself and go outside him and surrender. Though. Potato, please ban floor. Hashtag potato McSweaty. Agreed. Somebody in chat who's a mod, please ban floor. Thank you. All right. Um... So we want to get to the Eiffel Tower. What other stuff do we want to get? Uh, it might be good to go ahead, grab industrialization. We do have a few mines. I'm going to go ahead and I really want to get steel. What area are we in? I think we're in the Renaissance. We're about to be in another area. So we're pretty far behind in terms of this tech stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up mathematics. We are going to be in a golden age, at least. Maybe that'll help a little. We've got our intelligence agency in here. How close are we to another great rider? We're literally decades away because everyone is getting great rider points at an insane rate. Um, I think I really have delayed these too long, so I need to get that amphitheater up. I've delayed these amphitheaters as long as I dare. Well, this gold is going to help me rebuild. I had planned to move Magnus over to n there, and I think I will move him to Nanaimo Bar. God, that was brutal, that apocalypse was. I lost so much pop, I lost so much everything to that. This map generated real weird. <laughs> we have a spy now. Um, we're going to spy on... 
Steal the mountain on a summer day. I'm gonna spy on the Netherlands for tech. That's the goal. Hashtag tech goals. Oh, come on, man. Let me through your borders. Ugh. Uh, I'm listening to one of his speeches, you can barely understand him. Lol, who named it Nanaimo Bar? Those are too sweet for me. I never get this much tangible with a cold style, I'm jealous. I've had games where I found a goody hut and secrets nuclear fusion were hidden in those huts. I could certainly see some precursors save having giant death robots. Hell yes, give me more gifts. I need these gifts. At least we've got a golden age, eh? Uh... Oh, I can make three dedications, so... Here's a question. This is a different continent, so I'm actually going to take Hunt Sick Draconis for once. Um, reform the coinage, and... Heartbeat of Steam, two arms isn't that useful. So now, I think it's time we do Settlers. All my infrastructure is ripped to shit, though. Farm here. Go auto explore for me, little boat. What a weird continent generation, I gotta say. It's for sure room for some national parks in here. Go ahead and explore. Uh, can you name the first city in the new continent New Hope? Yes, I will. Here's Petra. Let's pick up knights. I mean, Jesus, dude! Like, how brutal does that did that need to be? Was that necessary, Civ? Is that really necessary? I mean, we've mostly recovered already. Musket man. Has Potato ever played Frostpunk? That Blizzard would have fit right in with that one. I have played Frostpunk. And it's a fun game. It's a really fun game. We need to get these things repaired. Settler time. Working this food. You have four build charges left. Let's go get this stuff repaired for the capital. Lay down some more farms. All of this shit was just ripped up, dude. Need to get my crossbowman into one place. God.
That was a brutal one. For as much benefit as now, I'd like to see the giant statue of a Yeti. Uh, German accent, that'll be interesting to learn about. Oh, you gotta talk about German again. <sighs> Yawn. Alright. Let's just hope that blizzard never happens again. Well, alright then. have new opinions of uh, let's pick up printing so problem is I need to start building all my walls No terrorists invented Hans guns. Uh, there's so much gaming content in German, it's insane. Yeah, it's true. Do you have the Lime ca policy card slotted in? I do. And it'll be going away soon. So I need to make use of it. Sources and then steel tech boost. Go. What is the hockey to cycle between cities? That's a custom hockey that I set up in my key bindings. I have set it to uh, these two buttons. Although that might be the default. I can't remember. I, I know I set up some custom hockeys. Those might not be the ones that I set up. Potato, are you playing uh, different games simultaneously for YouTube and Twitch, or the one on YouTube is already ready and just being uploaded bit by bit? The one on YouTube is... has a few episodes done already, and this is a separate game. I did consider just live streaming my Let's Play recording, but I think it, it would be good to, to give people two avenues of content. You know, one that is dedicated strictly a Let's Play, and one that is more live stream. I want to make sure this low health one is covered. So it's likely I lose the warrior, but the warrior is the least important unit there. Alright, so you've done your job. More builders. Got a pack of crossbowmen in here. All barbarians hungry video. Okay, and repair that. I've got some repairs to do and stuff after that blizzard. That was an absolutely horrifying blizzard, I gotta say. These aid requests are coming in. Nice. Not getting much out of it, but getting something out of it at least. A little bits of gold here and there. I'm surprised the AI isn't more generous. Uh, in terms of the gold they give. Very stingy. 
So can I make friends with Brazil or someone? Oh, you're finally friendly with Christina. I can make I can make her an ally. Wait. What? You like Christina, but Christina doesn't like you. Alright, whatever. Just give me an economic alliance, please. First settler is out. Uh, let's see. I'm vacationing. I really hope I minimize my accent. People don't have to make speak to me in English anymore. Uh, what do you receive if they send aid projects? I'm not sure. I'm assuming that's where all this gold came from. Let's see. Potatoes. Oh, oh damn. Them in a stew. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. The game mechanic, you're raiding. Hell, what's up, man? Your chat is unprotected, my friend. All too easy to raid. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. I, I like how you guys even prepared the generic, like, thing. And you know what's funny? Like, two turns ago, Brazil, or like, literally this turn, Brazil was like, your seas are unprotected. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you so much, Game Mechanic. I really appreciate it, man. How, how did your game go? Are you finished streaming right now? Or are you still going, buddy? Let's get this guy healed up. They are blitzkrieging us. Guys, chat, fight back, quick! Thanks for the raid, man. I really appreciate it. That was awesome. I like how you guys synchronized the, the message drop, too. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that. That was brilliant. You bet, man. How's it going? Yeah, just wrapped up trying out Hungry. What do you think of Hungry? I saw you were playing Dido earlier. Unless my Civ thing was lying to me. What do you think of Hungry? Every time... So, what happens to me, Game Mechanic? Every time I try to play Hungry, I, like, I do the city-state thing. I get a money. I get a city-state to his vanity. I levy some troops. And then, like, at some critical moment... Like, somebody will just take the city-state away from me, and I lose all my units. And I'm like, oh. Well. Hungary is great, but I just can't make them work. He's a well-known, uh, Civ 6 channel. Yeah, the Game Mechanic has a really good channel, too. Actually, let me put that in to, uh, the, the thing for my people who don't know about the Game Mechanic. Because he does a- he, he actually streams a lot more than I do. So if you're looking for streams, he's your guy. I just put the link to his channel in the uh, in the chat. You can check out the game mechanic. He does save as well. I don't know if he plays any other games, but he's got some good thumbnail game. I got to tell you. Um, I got a bit frustrating. It was not my fault for learning phonetics. Your chat is protected enough. I thought you can't send envoys to a city state you're at war with. You can. You absolutely can. And it wasn't necessary. I'm pretty sure you can. And it wasn't necessarily the. Uh, it wasn't necessarily the people who I was at war with stealing the city-state from me. It was just felt it just felt like for such an important ability, it felt really unreliable. Um, I maybe a modifier could be, I don't know. But yeah, I just every time I tried to do it, I just got the city-state swept from under me. Game mechanic, we got hit with the most horrifying blizzard. Uh, I can show you it here in the log actually. If you're still like, um, thirty-two of my tiles were damaged, and eight of my population was lost. So like. Basically every tile from like Winnipeg to Tater Thoughts in this like parallelogram area was just completely destroyed. Not even pillaged, just completely destroyed. And like several turns later, like 15 turns later, were repaired. <laughs> um, that's what this aid request is about. This is actually targeting me. Dude, it was absolutely horrendous. It was the most horrendous fucking... Thing I've ever had happen to me in the game and it was it was great, but it was also hor horrific I think the modifier they added that you get two envoys every time you levy. I'm pretty sure occasionally I had the send envoy button grayed out No idea what it was then ah, who knows You guys missed the blizzard to end all blizzards. I swear it Felt like an apocalyptic level event And we got we actually got a really crazy map generation too like, there's just this massive ice sheets down here that I don't understand. Uh, let's see... I'll go for, I guess, militaristic city-states. Why not? 
Actually, I really want this to go to City Center, so I'm going to put three votes in. Nobel Peace Prize. Generating diplomatic favor. We're definitely not getting that one. <coughs> Excuse me. That was actually the highlight of my stream. Dude. So we got the city center to pass. Pretty happy about that. Um, because I want to be building walls right now. So this extra 100% production is going to be really good. Nobel Peace Prize. We're actually not doing too bad. We're actually not doing too bad. Plus four per turn. If I could get my alliances leveled up. If I could maybe get a little bit more diplomatic favor. I have been saving up envoys because I just haven't found a city state that I care about. I want to do... I kind of want to put it into Nam Madal. I want to get Sue's Ranity. And I want to strategically try to get Sue's Ranity. So maybe if we get Mexico City, that'll give me plus one per turn. When am I getting my next envoys? Not for a very long time. Um, I could get the Suzman at Kabul. That would bring me up to six. So that would put me in, in the running to maybe win this. Especially if I could get my tourism generation up. Uh, I won't be the first to say that would be a good Russia game. I'll probably happen again. Tato, I had my tournament break in the last game. Drop a capital from 12 to 4 population. Holy crap, dude. I'm not saying that Russia should have gotten a Blizzard of Minuals because Russia is already so good. Don't jinx it, Lord Water. Dude, I'm definitely getting another Blizzard and it's going to be horrific. So I really want to build settlers. Um, but I kind of need to get these walls done. I can build one settler in my capital. And then go for walls. These late game settles, boys. I almost never go for late game settles, but it just kind of makes sense in this game. I'm trying to clear out all the barbs that like spawned in here. Uh, so yeah, I want to do a tech boost steal. Trying to supplement our tech income. Pedro and Cleo like you. Alliance. I'm trying to avoid allying too many civs. Oh, man. But now it's like a really tempting... With the Nobel Peace Prize, it's really tempting. I was trying to avoid allying so I don't upset France because I want to keep France as my ally. How do you feel about... Pet? She has denounced them both. She actually doesn't know about Cleopatra, so I can safely ally her. But yeah, I want to make sure I keep France as my ally. Religious Alliance... Uh, Pedro. Military alliance? Oh, I don't want to do this, because if he declares war in France, then I get dragged in, and that would be real bad. I, everything I'm trying to do in the game is minimize the chances that I go to war with France, because if I go to war with France, I'm in a really bad shape. <clears throat> I'm going to sleep now. Have a nice time, everyone. See you later, Fol Folger. Uh, does the new Blizzard mechanic only Russians can settle snow? Not really. Can the stream not be downgraded to 720p for some reason? My phone's having a hard time with the image freezing. I don't know why. Uh, let me let me check, right? Uh, stream quality settings. Twitch. Because I, I had them before, and I don't know why I don't, I don't have them now. So I'm going to see if I can figure that out real quick. Apparently, it's a thing that Twitch just sometimes turns off on you. I'll, I'm, go, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a moment here to look through, see if I can turn it on. Okay, bits and cheering. No, I'm not seeing a thing here. Like, 
Twitch, Twitch is really, like, it's, it's telling me that Twitch only allows this on some things. But I feel like I should be allowed to set up transcodes to let you, you know, uh, Twitch set up transcode. Encoding profile, main strict CBR. I think I have all those settings up. Ah. Uh. Like, my stream health is really good. I, I don't know how to make... I don't know how to tell it to let me do transcodes. I wish I did. You just restart constantly. It's randomized for affiliates. Welp. Never mind, it's probably random to your Twitch partner anyway. Let's check on the old Twitch partnership thing. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bom. How do I check that again? Analytics. Control F partner. There is usually a way to see it. Crap. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bom. How do I become a partner again? Paths to partner. I need to stream on 12 different days. I'm actually really close to becoming a partner, so that should be pretty... You know, pretty close to uh, getting accepted. Awesome. So that'll become something I can rely on soon. So sorry about that, guys. Sorry, sorry if you don't have that as an option. Um, you will be able to view these as VODs on my YouTube channel. YouTube slash C slash Potato Whiskey. Hell yeah. So I really want civil engineering. However, the problem with this is it's going to outdate my policy limes, which I want. I have plugged in right now and I want to start building walls. So we're going to do the little thing that I usually do, which is bypass this and go all the way to conservation. And this is when we can start getting our mounties. You told to have the viewer account to get partner. Uh, do you have bots to be do you have to have bots to become a partner? No, nope, I don't think so. Hey, look, there's a guy who's staff. Hey, there's a staff guy watching me. Hello, Husky. What's up, buddy? Quick, guys, harass the guy with the the the, the, the wrench. Quick, tell him he's silly. And that he should somehow make the site favor my Twitch stream. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, let's get the hell over here. Anyway, that's enough dilly dallying. I gotta, I gotta get back to playing the game, you guys. You don't want to sit here, hear me talk about. No, it was the wrong city. I mean, it's fine because it's producing a settler, but it was the wrong city. Uh, I don't think conservation obsoletes limes anymore. Uh, no, it's not conservation that obsoletes limes. It is uh, civil engineering. You can see down here in the bottom of this little tooltip, it says unlocks and it says makes obsolete policy limes at the second last one there. So that's why I'm trying to, what I do is when I, I, I kind of delay building my walls. So this is like a little strategy that I figured out. I, I don't know if it's intentional, but basically you delay getting civil engineering. You skip up to conservation. When you get to conservation, your walls give tourism. As you're making this pathway up to conservation, you start building all the walls in your cities. As you can see, I'm building... Well, I'm not quite doing it everywhere. In fact, I should probably be doing it here. Settler can wait. Um, but I'm building walls everywhere, right? And then by the time I get to conservation, all my walls will be finished and I'll be getting tourism from them. And then it doesn't matter if the limes policy is ob obsolete. It's like a little optimization thing. Aha, I've been watching YouTube for 80s, still can't deity. Hey, man. Everyone can get there. When I first started playing Civ, I played on fucking Settler, dude. <laughs> I never went, I never went higher than Prince um, for a very long time. Even King was a struggle, but now I, now I play on DD like it's, uh, like it's my job, which it is. Um, uh, oh, sorry, I think I have a mod install because that's gone in my game since the update. I uh, get friendships to avoid wars with Pedro. The pen might not be mightier than the I do have a friendship with Pedro, but I don't want to get an alliance with him. Because the only alliance I can get with him is a military alliance, and I don't want to go to war with France. I'm scared. I, I, I don't want to get friendships and alliances with people that Catherine might go to war with, because she is my only neighbor. And I'm pretty much banking my entire game on the fact that I will be able to build basically no military this game, and not have to worry about France by keeping her happy. Uh, still stuck. Still stuck at playing Immortal. Yep. 
all about that immortal life. Um, so I really want to get to steel, but again, if I get to steel, this will prevent me from building walls. So there's a particular timing we want to hit here. I'm not going to get the killer unit with a knight. I also want to get to industrialization, but that's a lot of text to get up there. Um, coal would be nice. I really want steel because this would give me production from lumber mills, which makes my tundra uh, situation a lot better. It also gives me access to the Eiffel Tower, which is a critical wonder. So I think in lieu of going for industrialization, we're going to push for steel. Because by the time we get the steel, we should be finished building all of our walls. Let's keep getting those mines out. Even though we are kind of a lumber mill heavy kind of sieve, we are going to be build building some mines. We have another builder out of here. This city is just spamming builders. Uh, recently one... Oh, I can actually get another district in here. And the district that I want is going there. And it is going to be a holy site. I want the faith generation. So we'll do a little detour for a holy site. Which is fine. Crossbowman. Pop up onto the hill. Go here. I'm going to keep this crossbowman back to fog bust with this warrior. To make sure no barb camp spawn behind me as I bring settlers in to settle this continent. To get more um, national parks. So we've got to think about how we want to settle here. I don't think this land is pretty enough. It would be with the Eiffel Tower. We could actually get two... Um, we could actually get two national parks here. If I could settle right there. I'm probably going to settle this snow hill. Because we're getting pretty close to being able to do that. And this city will literally just exist for national parks and nothing else. And that's it. Um, actually, I had no idea walls gave tourism and conservation. So shout out to Potato for teaching me something. It's a cool little thing. Uh, I'm kind of proud of myself because I figured that one out without, ha without help from anyone. So that one, that, that's a little kind of strategy that I... I know other people probably figured it out, but it's one that I feel like I can own it, if you get me, because I kind of, I came up with it myself, if you get me. I'm not, I don't, don't mistake that for me as taking credit for the entire strategy, right? Because I'm surely other people have figured it out too. Now, if we're getting conservation soon, do I want to put a mine here or do I want to save for a lumber mill? I think we're going to wait for a lumber mill in here. A lumber mill would be much better on this tile than a mine. So... But for sure, we want to put a lumber mill over here. And we want to harvest this one. We'll finish that wall a little bit quicker. Now let's take this out. Eiffel Tower is a must for parks. Yes, it's a must for parks and seaside resorts. Too bad you can't build seaside resorts in the tundra. Alright, six charge builder. Lumber mills down here would be decent. The city is growing at a reasonable rate. Ah, uh, right. I need traders. So you need a trader. Uh, you don't need a trader. You have a trader. You need a trader. Who else needs help? This city needs a trader. I think that's all of my trading slots taken up. Right. I kind of got distracted by the blizzard and forgot to get traders, but it should work out just fine. Only the DD game I've won is at Scythia, back when you could sell units. She was so busted. Yeah, it was pretty OP. You could, like... You could build a horse, pair of horsemen, sell them, and then purchase another ho pair, like horsemen. They would come in a pair, and then you'd have infinite money and stuff like that. It was pretty crazy. It was fun, but it was broken as heck. One of these settlers should go down here. Lumber mill here. So I'm going to trade with this city. Mostly I want growth for these cities. I'm going to trade with Innis too. Uh, this actually has a higher theoretical yield. Fog busting. Busting, busting. Makes me feel good, guys. Alright, let's go ahead and trade with there. So just more lumber mills, I think, in here. In this section... Just all lumber mills? Yep. Might be worth it to stick farms down somewhere. Nope. Lumber mills galore. Congrats on wearing the big boy pants. I hope I can be like you one day. Winky. Lol. That Total Biscuit emote is easily my favorite emote in the game. For two reasons. A. I love Total Biscuit. He was a cool guy and I'm sad that he's gone. And B. It's a... Uh, it's a meme from Destiny's channel. I don't know if any of you guys here watch Destiny, but he is a... Pretty fun guy. I'm kind of sad that you guys, like, I got raided just as I'm about to end. 
Maybe we'll go for an extra hour for you guys. Give you guys a taste of the potato thunder. All right, we have uh, Renaissance walls completed here in Tater Thoughts. Lumber Mills and National Parks. All right, we got Renaissance walls in here. I definitely want to get more settlers because there's a lot of room over here for potentially more national parks. We're pretty close to getting Mounties. We're also pretty close to getting our ice hockey rinks. So we have some spots set up for that. Um, I'm probably going to get one settler out of this city. I want to keep this forest here. The Eiffel Tower is going there. Uh, speaking of Eiffel Tower, did I miss the Wonder Building guy? I did not. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to save up uh, Faith to be able to purchase the Wonder Building Great Engineer when he appears. Uh, we go put a lumber mill down there. You're holding on. There could be a lumber mill. Well, this is going to be a national park. This whole thing. So let's put a pin over here to remind myself not to do anything with that tile. Oh no, a barb camp. Why? Why? Why would you appear here? God. We also need the cavalry production card for um, Mounties, which are a... Modern era light cavalry production. Which is in totalitarianism? There is a card here somewhere for this. What is the late game cavalry card? <clears throat> Does anyone remember what the late game cavalry... Ah, here it is. Lightning Warfare. So we're going to want this pretty much as soon as possible afterwards so that we can produce these at a high rate. Did you know you can theoretically get six hockey rinks in a single city? Study city with six hockey rinks for a claim. Meanwhile, all these cities get to build another. It's very silly. Oh, that's very clever, actually. I wouldn't call that silly at all. That's awesome. Too bad if they get pillaged by a blizzard, they're just gone and all that setup was wasted. Um, so here's Hosers with a three charge builder. Let's get more lumber mills. Another lumber mill. Look at all that beautiful, beautiful. It's beautiful. Who, who even owns this? This is, this is why this empire map mode is so useful. Inna Stew has created the border noodle that has never been seen for generations. It can't work these tiles, yet it owns them. The border noodle is real, guys. The absolute border noodle. That's an absolute unit of a border noodle right there. That border noodle... Let's look out for more, some more border noodles. For sure, this should belong to you. And this should belong to you. This Empire map mode is... I'm so happy about it, by the way. I just want to take a moment to sh like thank you for access for this Empire map mode. It's a border noodle, dude. That's the only way I could describe it. It's a border noodle. You Stop. You, it's not where your noodle goes, okay? That sounds kind of dirty. But you like that, you dirty chat. How dare you? Uh, anyway, all right, you need orders over here. Uh, okay, so we need to deal with this musketman and this barb camp in general. Put Liang in that city and hockey rinks are safe. That's true. That's a good point, Crumble. You make an excellent point. I'd like to subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, all right, we're working on colonialism. So let's get this builder set up. I think I start ripping up these farms as much as it pains me. It's all the city's growth is locked up in these farms. Because hockey rinks I need to go here. Hockey rinks, ice hockey rinks. Since you automatically claim your whole first ring by settling. <clears throat> Chat was naughty. That's right. All right, cool. So we successfully stole tech, which is pretty much what this, what these spies exist to do. We've only got one spy because we're you know neglecting building spies. But steal tech, siphon funds, counter spy. We'll take the siphon funds because that's a good mission to do too. Okay, we have Renaissance Walls completed in here. I could get a Settler in 17 turns. Uh, alternatively, I could build a Harbor in here and turn this city into something useful. Get a, a, extra adjacencies here. This has one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this would give me a little bit of culture adjacency over here. That's quite valuable. On the other hand, I could go ahead and get my hands on some more of these. I'd like to get a great art museum. This would also give me trade routes. Alternatively, I could just build settlers and keep settling for more stuff. No! Fortaleza! 
You took the only spot that I really wanted. God damn it, man. So how many settlers are we building? We are building... One... Two... Alright, two right now. We've got one. This means war? I wish. Wish we, wish we were in a position where we could go to war. We're just really not. We don't have the production, we don't have the empire set up. Our empire is set up to do one thing, and that's to be really bad at uh, a culture victory. <laughs> I really want to build her over here to improve these two tiles so the city can grow a little bit more. Um, you're fog busting. This settler for sure is heading down there. Go ahead and rip that up. Go forward a tile. Lumber mills. Lumber mills here. Uh, lumber mill there. I want to make sure I prioritize putting lumber mills on the city tiles that are against rivers. Loyalty pressure the shit out of them since cold is your domain. That's a good strategy, actually. Although there is a little... Oh, nice, I'm still getting gifts. There's a little bit of a loyalty pressure problem. Now, we should we should be able to loyalty pressure that city. Major drought. At least that's not happening to me. Get over there. Shoot there. You heal up. Ice hockey rings in three turns. You'll build all of them. I have it set up correctly, right? Noodle, 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 noodle. Noodle, noodle, noodle. All right, nice. Get up here. Should have actually left him in the water so he gets that extra little bit of movement. We're going to settle here because I'm pretty sure with the Eiffel Tower... I could guarantee turn these into national parks. Otherwise, the city's going to be garbage. How many national parks can I fit in here? I could fit one national park in here, and then there's a bit of tundra. So if this is going to be this is going to be the national park, where do I want to settle? I'd like to settle there, so I could have a farm triangle, so the city could grow, and then just work the water. So you're going to go up here first. Uh, we could siphon funds, but I want to keep stealing tech so that I can... Uh, because I'm not focusing on tech, and I'm not going to be able to get a lot of these tech boosts, by stealing tech, it kind of makes up for the fact that I have a low tech gain. I don't like when the land reaches all the way to the absolute north-south of the map. Me either. I'm not a huge fan of it, but in this particular game, it made things kind of interesting, so I'm okay with it. Um, normally, it would be like something I'm not a fan of, but it kind of made the game interesting, so I'm okay with it. She thinks my military is impressive, guys. Do you think I have a shot? Crippling Blizzard. No. No, 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 no. I'll just move this way. Just move this way. Don't move up. Just don't come upwards, okay? Just just go in any other direction than up towards me, please. That's all I ask, Crippling Blizzard. It has done no damage yet. No doubt it's gonna go from here to here. Just rip up everything in between. For sure, dude. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. You're still waiting over here. Let's bring you a little bit closer. Clean that out. Next turn. Warriors in turn 186. Good military. You're damn right that's a good military. How dare you? Being hit by a crippling blizzard seems like you need to call the heroes of the storm. <laughs> oh man. That's a fun game. I'm kind of sad that a lot of the staff on Heroes of the Storm were laid off, actually. It's a really fun game, and I really enjoy it. Alright, medieval walls. Let's get renaissance walls in here as well. It's one of my favorite games, actually. Heroes of the Storm. I, I, I had a lot of fun playing it with, with my friends. <laughs> if only I had them. <laughs> uh... Lumber mill here. Can't put any lumber mills there. Colonialism is on the way. We could definitely put an ice hockey rink over there. 
Can you look at the rankings? Sure thing. I can check out the rankings. Overall, we are bottom of the barrel. 100, we're like a third of the sides of the leaders, which is fine. It's not a big deal. In terms of culture, we are super behind. We're less than half a third again. And then in terms of actual culture generation, in terms of tourism, uh, nobody really has that many tourists. But I'm hoping I'll be able to catch up. I'm hoping I'll be able to catch up. It's been a really rough game. Like, you know, it's been a rough game. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping we can turn it around. It's been a rough game from start to finish. Imagine how badass your warriors would be after a thousand years of training. Hots is the only mobile I liked because I loathe item management. I actually kind of like item management. It's part of the reason why I really, really like Dota and I'm not a huge fan of the League. But what I liked about Hots was that... Um, that politics, colonialism, imperialism. Okay, so we have this, 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 this. So what I really liked about Hots was that the heroes were really, really different. In a lot of, um, like, they, their hero designs were incredible. In a lot of MOBA games, the heroes kind of form generic archetypes. Which is funny to say, because in HOTS, they literally have generic archetypes. But within those archetypes, every hero played and felt really differently. Like, it's like, the difference between Sergeant Hammer and Abathur is incredible. And even the difference between, like, Lyric and Arthas is crazy. It's crazy. They they both have base. They're both melee sort of bruiser tanks, but they play completely different roles. Um, so th that's what I really liked about Hots is that even though they had like strict roles, they managed to make each uh, hero within that role feel really, really, really different. Okay. So our culture is about to explode. There's some error score. If we delete this. You can see here, one food, six culture. Look at that. That's the thing of beauty. That's going to make up for our weak early game. Let's go ahead and get those Renaissance walls up. Go ahead and get those medieval walls up. Um, I think I'm going to purchase... What? The district is damaged? Shakes head. How are we doing on the Nobel Peace Prize? Not doing too hot. These guys got stolen from me. Steal them back. Might help out. Lumber mill. Lumber mill. Go here. Who the hell is booping me? I'm playing I'm playing cards. Playing cards on Sunday with some friends. Go play some poker. No! See, this is exactly why these units are here. It's for this stuff. I never tried it since I got Port Hurt, but the Blizzard after Warlords of Drainer. I was really excited about it, and it was a really lackluster expansion. That kind of sucks. I never really played Warlords of Drainer. The only expansion of Blizzard I really played was, like, vanilla. And then the one after that and the one after that. I played a little bit. I was, like, just, like, kind of dipping the toe. I never really played the game. The only expansion I played seriously... I'm going to add that proposal. Uh, the only expansion I played seriously was the latest one, which I don't even remember the name of it. Battle for Azeroth or whatever. And I actually really liked it. It was really cool. It was really fun. They added a lot of really st a lot of stuff that I really liked. And I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, but uh, ultimately, um, I was playing with like an American guild. So they like raiding happened at like crazy hours for me. And it was affecting my like my YouTube stuff. And it was affecting my emotional health. Staying up that late. I just, I just, I can't stay up late like I used to when I was younger. It kind of fucks with me. And so I just kind of stopped playing because I was mostly living for the raiding and end game progression. Um, that was a lot of fun. And then when I couldn't do that anymore, it was like, Pfft. well then. Oh, I remember where these this housing came from. It came from this uh, governor. I like my games full of hard, hard choices. I don't have the skills to play SC2. SC2 is really fun. Uh, a good compromise for playing uh, StarCraft 2 is actually Age of Empires 2. If you want to play a um, real time strategy game that is really deep, really dynamic, has a really healthy community. Play Age of Empires 2, dude. The Age of Empires community is alive and well like 20 years later. It's insane how alive and well the Age of Empires 2 community. If you're looking, if you want to really get into an RTS game, Age of Empires 2, it's... I, I don't want to call it a perfectly balanced game because I feel like there's no game that's like perfectly balanced. But every, like the game is almost perfectly balanced in terms of its systems within itself, which makes the, the actual gameplay experience really, really nice. It's been getting crazy updates. All the saves are unique. All the playstyles are unique. And once you once you actually get a build order down, it's like 
man, the, the feeling of like out teching someone or doing something and beating them in Age of Empires. It's oh, well, I guess maybe I shouldn't have voted down this, but whatever. It's so fun. It's such a fun game. Um, so you head here. There's a couple of national parks here. We're pretty close to getting our mounties up. I'm going to delete that pin now. Put that there. Delete that pin. So that's four of the cities. Get over there. You know, even simple, even just simply getting a hang of like managing your economy in the really early game in Age of Empires is so satisfying. Like getting a good feudal time. Holy shit, dude. It's like, it's almost a drug. Almost. So I guess you can become a musketman. Help me deal with the barbs over here. Uh, balance is overrated. Here's a ma ma magic is the best strategy game because it was incredibly unbalanced. Yeah, I, I kind of somewhat agree. Uh, I clicked attack and you moved. All right, whatever. I'll accept that just because you're one of my crossbowmen. Renaissance walls completed in here. More builders. The city needs a builder. I need an ice hockey rink location. I think it's going to be here. This will be farms. Although I could just slap it in here. This is going to be National Park, right? It has the appeal to be a National Park. It does with the Eiffel Tower. Uh, medieval walls completed. Get the Renaissance walls. Escape on foot. He was captured in Amsterdam. I have my spy back, please. 400 gold. That's well worth it for a spy. 400 gold is nothing compared to the value of a spy. Okay, we have four of those up. I'd like one over here in Victoria, and I think the tile to get it is like here, maybe. That's not the unit I wanted to click on. Click on the builder. I mean, these pins are great, but sometimes they get in the way of clicking on stuff. It'll get less pin intensive later on. Uh, what map script is this? This was a Pangea map, I think. And it was just went insane, dude. Like the whole, like, what is this? This is a peninsula that almost touches this and creates a... Uh, an inland sea in here. Like, you would think it's like something between a Pangea and an inland sea. Like, I've never seen anything like this. It's insane, dude. And like, I, I don't even know what to say. It's like the map, the map script, like, plopped down random pieces of land and then was like, oh shit, it needs to be Pangea, and then started connecting them all. But I mean, I kind of like it because it's insane, but it's also really cool. So Canada on Tundra, like Russia, yep. Uh, well, actually, this is actually better if I put it here, because it'll get more adjacency from Tundra. And here's even better. Here's the ultimate spot, I think, but I'm going to put it here. Problem is, if I place this, I don't get the uh, nice farm, nice Tundra farm triangle here that I was hoping for. I'll place it here, though. It's a plus five one, which isn't amazing, but it's decent. Head back that over to the Netherlands, start stealing tech again. Finally got that iron mine up, long last. So I want to try to identify places where I can get national parks. There's not really one, there's one right here. We settle on the sheep. No, we settle right here to try and get loyalty pressure on this guy. You escort that guy. You go here. Why would you go up onto the land and then back into the water builder? Builder, please! You could literally just go through these tiles. All right, whatever. Uh, you selected a settler in Innistu. Yeah, that was the goal. I want more settlers. I want to try and settle this vast... Oh, boy. Why is she at war with me? My ally... She's at war with France. Okay, that's good. You guys can just hit each other. Sounds great to me. 
I'll just keep sitting back here and, uh, you know, sim sitting like the good little Canadian that I am. Eh? Uh, Brazil is a dick. They built a wall on a pop one city. Um, I don't think they built a wall. I think they have steel. No, they did build a wall. No, they actually legitimately built a wall. Okay. Um, Renaissance walls are done in here. We're really, really close to getting things that we want. All right, we have this. Theater squares is something we might want. I definitely want holy sites. Um, should probably move Reyna to Tater Thoughts and promote her with this tax collector. So let's move Pingala to Tater Thoughts. Reassign Pingala to Tater Thoughts because science and culture is more important. And then we'll move Reyna to my capital for the extra gold. Because now she generates gold from population. That's 14 gold there, which isn't terrible. It's pretty good. <sighs> Man, what do I want to do in here? I think it would take too long to build a settler. Although we could actually build a settler. And there's lots of room here, as far as I can tell. Like, lots of room. Like, the appeal map mode. Doesn't bode well. How many settlers am I making? I'm making one, two, three, four. If I settle here, I could settle down here. That's another national park. Let's do it. A very weird game. Very weird game we're having right now. So I want to settle right there as soon as possible. Let's get these guys linked. Run there as fast as possible. I want to try and loyalty pressure this city if I can. Let's talk to Brazil. Uh, and get a open borders agreement with him. <laughs> we live in the snowy wasteland, so you don't have to. Would you say it's not worth it to build holy sites, even when you're not going for religion or culture because our OP rock bands are? Maybe. The maybe, dog. Alright, shoot. So this wants to be farms. This is a really good ice hockey rink, though. This one right here. Two farms, is that enough to sustain this city? It's really not. I'll put the... Well, no, the farm triangle is too good, I think. It'll actually feed that city. The city's in good shape. Let's go ahead and improve that. So the, like a lot of my improvements are still ripped up and it's it can be hard to kind of tell which ones got messed up and or, or didn't so right there is a good ice hockey ring Near the misogies, hey there's pamukala pamukala who knows how to say it this harbor even got pillaged man <sighs> sad days when that so catherine won the aid request although theoretically i won it because i got the most stuff out of it so a bronze is a great artist, which I'm okay with. Speaking of great people. Really what I want to be doing in Tater Thoughts is the, uh, I want to just be spamming the industrial zone logistics so that I can get great engineers to build the Eiffel Tower. Uh, Canada's playing the long game with the impending climate change. That's right. We're, we're trying to breed better snow people so that we can live in the snow and be invincible to it. I really don't know how many settlers I can get in here. I think I have enough for now. So I think it would be good to pick up an, archeal, an art museum. Because um, we're getting pretty close to getting an artist. So let's do that. It'll take that many turns. That's a long ass time, but it is what it is. There's not much I can do to change that. You're going to settle right here in Calgary. Start with a bunch of population. I'm going to purchase you a builder. So that you can develop these a little bit. I think we'll put two mines here. Shouldn't hurt this too much. We'll get that granary up. Yeah, so city center buildings still build really quickly. Well, not the granary. Is the granary what we want? It kind of is. Ancient walls, though. They're super important for my, cult my uh, tourism. <laughs> so builder. You're doing fine. You jump up here, get that improved.
You're going to hang out here and do a bit of fog busting. <clears throat> Is this the first time you've ever picked hunt, Hicks Hunt Draconis? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I almost never take it. I've taken it before, but never really had an opportunity to, to take advantage of it. My troops are merely passing by. I literally have nothing on the border with you. I'm really confused. I have a galley. There is a galley from the Stone Age, and you're worried... Well, not the Stone Age, Classical Age, but and you're worried about it. All right, dude, whatever. A, a galley. It, it's, like, it's like that meme. What is it? Uh, you know, something, something, and then it's like, a galley exists. And Brazil's like, you're trespassing on my borders. You know that you guys know the meme I'm talking about. Everyone knows that meme. So I could put a farm here. Oh, farmers might be better. You're fog busting. You're building that. More builder charges. Great. Welcome to Plaza. Did you get? I went for the one that makes my um Governor give housing and amenities, and I went for the one that gives me extra spies. Speaking of spies, I really need to build more spies. It's something I've been super neglecting, and I'm going to take a moment here to get a spy. So I want to settle here. Pure Whoa, what's that pathing? So I want to get a spy down here for, or not a spy, a settler down here for the extra national park in here. <laughs> Uh, we got the harbor. I wanted to purchase the lighthouse, but I don't have the money anymore. Medieval walls go. I could build a mine here, or I could build a farm. Honestly, I think two farms here is less offensive to the Civ gods. And this city really needs food. So we get an ice hockey rink. Ring, whatever. Goddamn words are hard. We've got two build charges here. Pay no attention to behind the, pe the person behind the maple leaf. Infinite Sprawl National Park Edition. That's right. Truly. Uh, truly the game recognized that we were Canada and we needed the frozen wasteland to just spread around into. And they gave it to us. Uh, so this is going to be the ice hockey rink in here. And this is going to be farms. Then over here is gonna... What do I do with this builder, actually? Really, he's just kind of waiting around for me to finish conservation. <clears throat> oh boy, when we can start building mounties, shit is gonna pop off. In terms of... You think this is culture? You just wait. You just wait. Is that barb camp at the very bottom of the map where you're looking to settle? Yeah, it's right there. I don't have any units that can deal with it. I guess I could get a musketman to go down there and deal with it. I mean, that's probably the right move. So you're just hanging out here, fog busting. Busting, busting, busting. Alright, what the hell do we do with you now? I don't need this pin anymore. That's been placed. This might actually just be your job. Just make that. After the settler. Uh. <clears throat> I chop that and put a district there, like a holy site, actually. So we'll look into doing that soon. I heard hearing the Canadian National Anthem. You think this is my culture? Hold my maple syrup. Where Mounties cannot upgrade, they kind of become cannon fodder late game if you get into any wars. They can't upgrade. Two luxuries, ten gold. I want more money. I want more money. Jackpot! Boys and girls, we hit the Egyptian. Jack Pot, 73 gold, 500 gold, and incense for two of my luxuries. Hell yes. What do you think of Tamar 
In Gathering Storm. She is kind of not great. Alright, so let's refocus here. We're getting close to Mounties. We've got a bunch of things happening. Alright, uh, no. Ice Hockey Rink, right there. It's only plus two one, but what's important is that it'll give the city the culture it needs to grow. Would have been a... Wait, why am I building this here? I could easily just put it here. Am I stupid? Guys, what am I actually doing here? Why did I put this here? Can somebody explain to me why I put this here when there's clearly a better tile here for it? I'm, I'm actually stupid, by the way. Just want to let you guys know, I'm actually stupid. Walls are better than ever. I build more cities so I can only have more walls. That makes Tamar the best sieve. Act not pretending. Not pretending to be stupid. Fours and lol. Etc. Just can't believe I did that. That was like one of the dumbest things I've ever done in this game. Hi, actually stupid. I'm dad. Nice to meet you, dad. I tell you what, I'm going to take a short break here. Uh, I'm going to take like a short five minute break. Get a drink of water. Kick back. <clears throat> then we are going to uh, play like another hour of this game, see if we can finish it off. We probably won't be able to finish it off tonight, but we'll probably finish it off tomorrow uh, or the day after, depending on how my timing works out. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end. So this ending is for the people who are watching the VOD on YouTube, because I always get comments about how it's really weird when the VOD just ends. So I want to thank you guys very much for watching this live stream VOD. Please remember, you can come find me live on twitch.tv forward slash potato whiskey if you're watching the VOD on YouTube. I love you all very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.